you're only poor if you give up. The most important thing is that you did something. Most people only talk and dream of getting rich. You've done something. Keep going. Don't quit. Taxes punish those who produce and reward those who don't produce. Rule 1, Robert says, is that you must know the difference between an asset and a liability, and only buy assets. One dad said, the reason I'm not rich is because I have you kids. The other said, the reason I must be rich is because I have you kids. 1031, jargon for section 1031 of the Internal Revenue Code, which allows a seller to delay paying taxes on a piece of real estate that is sold for a capital gain through an exchange for a more expensive piece of real estate. The key to long-term success in life is your education and skills, your life experiences, and most of all, your personal character. It's fear that keeps most people working at a job, the fear of not paying their bills, the fear of being fired, the fear of not having enough money, and the fear of starting over. That's the price of studying to learn a profession or trade, and then working for money. Most people become a slave to money and then get angry at their boss. With all the changes in medicine, many medical specialists are needing to conform to medical organizations such as HMOs. Rich people acquire assets. The poor and middle class acquire liabilities that they think are assets. Because I had two influential fathers, I learned from both of them. I had to think about each dad's advice and, in doing so, I gained valuable insight into the power and effect of one's thoughts on one's life. For example, one dad had a habit of saying, I can't afford it. The other dad forbade those words to be used. He insisted I ask, how can I afford it? One is a statement, and the other is a question. One lets you off the hook, and the other forces you to think. My soon-to-be rich dad would explain that by automatically saying the words I can't afford it, your brain stops working. By asking the question how can I afford it? Your brain is put to work. He did not mean that you should buy everything you want. He was fanatical about exercising your mind, the most powerful computer in the world. He'd say, my brain gets stronger every day because I exercise it. The stronger it gets, the more money I can make. He believed that automatically saying I can't afford it was a sign of mental laziness. These are the people who most often say, investing is risky. For them, it is risky, but not because investing is risky. It is their lack of knowledge and formal financial training that makes investing risky. I'd rather be excited about making millions than worrying about not getting a raise. This period we are in now is a most exciting time, unprecedented in our world's history. Generations from now, people will look back at this period of time and remark at what an exciting era it must have been. It was the death of the old and birth of the new. It was full of turmoil, and it was exciting. For example, by owning your own corporation, your vacations can be board meetings in Hawaii. Car payments, insurance, repairs, and health club memberships are company expenses. The easy road often becomes hard, and the hard road often becomes easy. People do two things. Some just let life push them around. Others get angry and push back. Do what you feel in your heart to be right for you'll be criticized anyway. 
you'll be damned if you do, and damned if you don't. Wealth is the measure of the cash flow from the asset column compared with the expense column. One dad struggled to save a few dollars. The other created investments. One dad taught me how to write an impressive resume so I could find a good job. The other taught me how to write strong business and financial plans so I could create jobs. He often admitted that schools reward people who study more and more about less and less. Old ideas are their biggest liability. Hope is for the hopeless. Losers are people who are afraid of losing. If money is not first in your head, it won't stick to your hands.